This is by far the hardest video I've had to make on this channel. So I decided it would be a fun video for me to look at Radio Music's worst music videos of all time list because I was in the mood of just going in on some really bad content and oh boy did I find some. First things first, this is again, as I mentioned, the hardest video I've had to make. Purely because the amount of crap I had to sit through is fascinating. It's fascinatingly bad. I'll get more into it at the end. First things first, this is ranking only the music video. If I was ranking the songs, it would be a completely different list. But we're only here to rank the music videos as a piece of art and we're not ranking the artist's songs. Next thing, all of my views expressed in this, they are going to be pretty angry. I know that. I tried to record this video yesterday and I abandoned it purely because I was getting too angry. I'm not even gonna lie about that one. But honestly, I feel kind of bad now. But what I want to say from the start is all of the views in this are solely towards the art and the content and not the artist in any way. I'm genuinely saying that because I get into some really bad things to say about this because oh boy there's a lot of bad with that out of the way three honorable mentions because i actually looked at the top 120 because if you guys don't know the way radio music lists things is 40 entries per page instead of 50 which is pretty weird to me but that's beside the point three miss outs hash pipe by weezer a very uncomfortable video with all the sumo people then we have I Disappear by Metallica. Considering all the other Metallica songs that have made it here, I'm surprised this one hasn't. This has the B-rate acting of a Michael Bay movie. And then somehow, finally, Kanye West's Famous has avoided the top 100. It is one of the most fascinating snubs of any of the top 100 lists on Rate Music. And with that out of the way, Let's get into this. Thank you for watching and God help me in this one. I'm going to keep these descriptions as brief as possible for the entire list and I'll elaborate when I want to. We start with Barbie Girl by Aqua, which is a music video I have some sort of nostalgia to, I'll be honest. It will prop up throughout the entire list, but honestly, I don't care about this one in terms of the bad scale. After that is Beautiful Day by U2, which is more slightly bad than overtly horrible. Then after that, we have Knife Talk by Drake, which is just here because the song is awful. What a cool music video, man. I love the horror undertones in this. It is such a well-executed music video. Then we have What a Girl Really Wants by Christina Aguilera, which is some pretty okay choreography in a pretty generic music video. After that is Plugin Baby by Muse, which is such a confusing music video. And then the women grow wires? Like, I don't get this one at all. After this, we have Royals by Lord, which is a good concept, executed really well. Don't really have much to say about that. Then next we have Call On Me by Eric Prids, which is misogynistic, definitely. But is it iconic? Yes. And it is definitely not a good music video. After that is Creep by Radiohead. It's just the band playing the song. It's only here because it's Creep and everybody hates Creep. Next is Frantic by Metallica. And honestly, my lifestyle determines my death style is the only thing you need to know about this music video. After that, we have White America by Eminem, which has some good intentions, but Jesus, it's, oh, it's just bad, isn't it? It's really bad. Next is Anyone Can Play Guitar by Radiohead. Hey, Pablo Honey's back. Another really bad music video, man. This is not Radiohead. It's just not them, is it? Next, you have Modo Turbo, which 
is basically just this weird sensual DDR with Latin music and really bad effects. And then there's a robot. And that's all you need to know. And I have the baby's lonely next. I do not want to talk about this one. It's just such... It's like he's trying to be meta, but he's not meta in any way because it's just done so badly and it's done so distastefully that it just kind of glosses over me, to be honest, this one, and I don't like it in any way. Next is Look At Me by Tentacion, and honestly, the school part, the iconic part, is awful, unbearable. But the second half of this music video is really good, really powerful in its message. And the same thing can be said about Beautiful by Christina Aguilera, which is next, which does get a bit same lovish at points with its message, but it's delivered in such a sincere way that I honestly can't really hate it. Next is Pretty Fly for a White Guy by The Offspring, and honestly, Adam Sandler, the gangster, is just not funny in any way. Next is Eminem's Godzilla, which tries being this weird, ooh, quirky music video and ends up being Cole Bennett's worst music video by far. Next is Fat Bottom Girls by Queen, gives you all the reasons why this is never mentioned in terms of Queen's music videos. Next is Turn You Inside Out by R.E.M., which is more random than bad, but yeah, it has this whole amateur feel that I don't really like. After that is God's Plan by Drake, which is honestly here again for the same reasons as Knife Talk. I think it's a good music video with a good sincere heart, on a pretty mid song. And then after that, we have the first song that broke me, which is My Sweet Lord by George Harrison. Few things right off the bat. What's Mark Hamill doing here? First thing, this video is in 2021. Did I mention that? A song from 1969, 1970, where I had a music video in 2021. What's Mark Hamill doing here? What's Ringo Starr doing here? What's Taika Waititi doing here? Why do we have detectives in this music video? Why is Weird Al Yankovic a person with popcorn in this music video? Why do you need such an over thing for a scripted music video for a song that has existed for years at this point? It's the first thing that got popular for the Beatles after the Beatles breakup and you're making a music video for it in our dear Lord 2021. Jesus, you need the Lord after having the gall to touch a song from an earlier generation and make a music video for it in 2021. And the worst examples of it haven't even come yet. That's the most infuriating part of all of this. Oh god, I need a bit of a breather after that one. Next we have Kissed a Girl by Katy Perry, which uh, there have been a lot of people to say, yeah, this is just bad. Uh, it's bad. Nothing else to say. After that is uh, The Time Dirty Bit by Black Eyed Peas. Honestly, it's exactly what you'd expect from the Black Eyed Peas sampling of The Time of My Life. Oh god, yeah, it's, it's just what you'd expect, really. And next we have this. This surrounded by silence, design the skyline thing. And honestly, this is the funniest thing on the entire list. If you're a Metalcore fan in any way, you will have the time of your life. Again, reference to that one. You'll have the time of your life listening to this because you'll just be like, there's so much going wrong in this song. I love it. Next is Part of Me by Katy Perry, and honestly, this is the perfect representation of the mainstream thinking it did something really powerful, when in reality, it didn't. Next is Sunday Morning by The Velvet Underground, which again, old song, new music video. Well, the visuals on this one are pretty cool, only problem is, why are they visuals on a Velvet Underground song? They look like something you'd put on a monkey song, not one of the greatest art or most provocative bands of all time, not on one of their songs. Next is I'm Madonna by Madonna, which just proves why overproduction is a thing. And then Love is the Drug by Roxy Music is next. And yeah, it's, I forgive this one, honestly, just because of its time period. But God damn, those outfits are really cool. And Oxy Mirren is next, and I've chosen not to rank this one in the general terms of me. Because honestly, I do not know a lot about this. I know a little about Oxymiron through my research and the fact that he's a Russian rapper who got famous for battle rapping. 
and this song's supposed to be this kind of reminiscing on his entire career. I mean, the title literally translates to Who Killed Mark, which obviously his name is Mark. And honestly, I think this could be an IOU. And in a few years, you could say, hey, you know, you said you had an IOU for this one. And I'll give you one over there if I have any updates. So, yeah, let's leave it at that for now. Next is Red Dress by Sarah Brand. I honestly can't bring myself to hate this song because it's genuinely one of the funniest songs I've heard. And the music video perfectly fits the vibe it's going for. After this, we have Butterfly by Crazy Town. Honestly, you can't convince me that the people who worked on this were the same people who worked on the WandaVision season finale. That's my huge conspiracy theory for you guys right there. After that is Perfect Illusion by Lady Gaga. First thing, number 69 on the list. Let us go, boys. But honestly, first half, shockingly bad. Don't like it. Second half, manic. I love it. Uh, Lady Gaga writes Kevin Parker. Uh, and it's this whole 360 camera view and all the lights and everything. I love it. I love the vibe of this entire album, really. Joanne in general. This fits that vibe perfectly. And then after that... We have Baby Talk by Miley Cyrus, which is honestly the lowest ranked uh, music video on the entire list that I'd give a 0 out of 10 to, because what the hell, Miley? What the hell? After this, we have Stuck With You with Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber. This is the Gal Gadot video, except there are common people involved. And after that, we have Asian Jake Paul by iDubbbz, which is another 0 out of 10, which is shockingly racist. And in multiple ways, to be honest, and I'm sad that Dave from Boy in a Band is even involved with this sort of thing. Next is Sorry by Justin Bieber. Honestly, kind of disappointed with this one because I like this song. I think it's Justin Bieber's best song and it's a pretty generic music video. Then we have Cosplay Girlfriend. What did I watch? Just, just why? Why am I here? Like, it genuinely gave me an existential crisis watching this, but I can't say like it was a 0 out of 10 because reasons, it wasn't as bad as some of the other things on here. It's only not as bad as the Miley Cyrus baby talk thing, but yeah, what the hell did I just watch, man? Next is Kokomo by the Beach Boys, I Hate My Club. Next we have I'm Not A Girl, Not Yet A Woman by Britney Spears. And again... The two parts of the music video don't really seem like the same music video, to be honest. And though it's disjointed, I can't really bring myself to hate this purely because it's Britney Spears around this time, which eh, I feel kind of bad going through that era. Next is Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. God almighty, this does not make sense. Why is there a boxing video for a song about a woman? I, I don't get this one. Next is Percy by Rammstein. And it's exactly what you think when you think Rammstein and the entire thing about this album. Yeah, it's, it's exactly what you think. Exactly. I'm not even trying to put a filter on this. It's exactly what you think. Next is You Make Me Sick by Pink. I do not like this one in any way. After that, we have The Man by Taylor Swift. I do not like the Lover Era of music video. And this, again, shows why. It's just so obnoxious, man. It's just so obnoxious. Next is Scott Stapp's classic with arms wide open. Yeah, baby, Creed is here. I hate Creed so much. But honestly, I respect them way too much to give this a 0 out of 10. I think this is better than that video for Butterfly. In fact, I think it's the exact same video. It's just a bit better effects. But it's like Butterfly's effects are here. So like here, around here somewhere. And then it's like right there, just right there above it. After that, we have Beverly Hills by Weezer. And honestly, all you need to see is River's face. River Cuomo looks more happy than in this video than when he was with the annoying Orange and with Fred. That needs all the context. That's everything you need to know about the Beverly Hills music video. And the only reason it's not a 0 out of 10 is because every single time Rivers comes onto screen, I'm there sitting with a book in my hand just seeing, my god, this is amazing. And this is exactly as amazing as everyone thinks it is. Just watch this music video and look at Rivers. Look at nothing else because the rest is awful. Just look at Rivers and your life will be complete. 
After this, we have Do It by Miley Cyrus. Oh, I feel sad giving another 0 out of 10 to this era. But God, this is bad. This is really bad. It feels like a flaming lips thing, but it's just, just done so weird. After this, we have Despacito, which honestly is here just because the song was overplayed. The music video in itself is just pretty generic, nothing really to it. After that, we have Roar by Katy Perry, obnoxious. Just that's the only word I'm gonna use with Katy Perry from now on. After that, we have Rap God by Eminem. Again, here because the song was overplayed everywhere and also kind of mid and Eminem as well. But this music video is really cool. I really love some of the concepts that are done in this music video, especially with all the plugs in his head. That's a pretty cool idea. You know what isn't a cool idea from an Eminem music video? Ask like that, cause this is bad. This is this is horrible. One of the worst music videos on this list. Yeah, this is bad. This is really bad. Next is Friday by Rebecca Black. You guys are hating a 13 year old child who has no idea what's going on, man. Plus this music video is all right. I like the paper flipping thing. I, I think that's a pretty cool concept in general. And then after that we have Birthday by Katy Perry. Just offensive, bad, shot horribly, bad, and how could I forget bad? Cause this is horribly grating. It just grates your eyes, like bleach your eyes bad, man. Next we have Saint Anger by Metallica. Honestly the best music video from this era, which is saying something cause this is pretty bad. But honestly, yeah, just, just, I'm fine with this one. And next we have My Band by D12. 0 out of 10. It's somehow worse than that Eminem video I mentioned before. Like, wow, this is bad. It's just... Eminem's humor from the 2000s will never age well. It will, in fact, age worse as every passing hour goes by. Next is Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. Yeah, don't like this one, do I? It's just... I don't like how cheerful... Like, that sounds so bad, but it's like... It sounds so overtly cheerful and it sounds sort of fake and plastic in its presentation. And after that, we have this weird all offspring song, man. It's literally that the, the phones, the phones are ruining us, kids. Wait, I'm recording on one. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. The corporations got me. But then after that, we have uh, From the Bottom of My Broken Heart by Britney Spears. Again, same thing about the old uh, Britney Spears music video I spent over there. It's generic, really. That's about it. So, honestly, these next two, I do not feel very comfortable mentioning because these are two of the most deplorable music videos. I've not even watched these. In fact, all of my uh, research based on these was research based. Uh, and reading through people being disgusted, which honestly, the fact that these are readily available is, it's shocking to me, especially on YouTube, or you can find these two on YouTube. And thereby, Sebastian and Lost Prophets. Now, please don't seek these out. I'm not going to mention their name. And I'm just going to move on because I don't want to talk about it anymore. But if you take anything from this music video and this entire video is just don't just please don't watch these music videos give these to a skip if you're doing the same thing i'm doing next is stupid love by lady gaga i really need a pick up from that one and honestly that's kind of the reason why i'm so really indifferent to this one i don't really care about this one it's just generally pretty bad but there's the pick me up. It's You're Beautiful by James Blunt. God, this music video is bad. I love this music video. Yeah, I, I laugh every single time I watch this. Uh, I'll be honest. Because it's just so obnoxious and so corny. I love it so much. Next is... Look at this graph! After that, we have You're So Gay by Katy Perry. Zero out of ten. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep on interrupting whenever I have a 0 out of 10. Because, yeah, this is, again, 
Katy Perry being offensive and it being executed well, even objectively, even without it being offensive, it's a bad music video. I do not get why Barbie dolls are being used to give such a weird message, man. This is just weird. And then we have, oh my god, god, yeah, baby. Oh, I honestly thought this was super hot fire. I'm not even gonna lie, moment I click on this video, I'm like, oh god. That's super hot fire. And then I'm like, no, it's not. It's this guy called Master Artisan. Who's like this Eminem ripoff. This lyrical, lyrical, miracle, spiritual, bitical. Bit what? Why? Like, what am I, what am I thinking? Anyway, that sort of rapper. You know what I mean. Next is Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus. This is somehow the best Miley Cyrus video on this entire list. And after that, we have Way Too Sexy by Drake. This is the best example on this entire list of horrible song, great music video, influencing bad rating on the music video. Because this is amazing. I genuinely think this is one of the best music videos of 2021. I want to see Drake parodying Call On Me by Eric Prince. I want to see Kawhi Leonard as the fourth Backstreet Boy. <laughs> Next is Pop Is Dead by Radiohead. Honestly, this is the worst Pablo Honey music video. Yeah, it's just really bad. After that, we have a two-piece. We have Puddle of Mud's cover of About a Girl and then Face Off by uh, Tech 9 and of course, The Rock. And these two are here grouped together because objectively, there's nothing wrong with these music videos. In fact, Face Off's music video is actually pretty cool. The whole typewriter and then The Rock's entrance and everything, it's so cool. But honestly, they're here because the songs itself don't have a singles release on Rated Music to rate. So they've chosen to rate the video version so that they can truly show, hey, you know, we don't really like these songs, even though that rock one, I actually think the rock has a pretty good verse on it. That's me being completely unironic. Next is Masked Christmas. It's the Gal Gadot video, except now it's Christmas. After that, we have Sugar by Maroon 5, which honestly, this music video is okay, if a bit bad, but it gets kind of ruined by the fact when you realize that most of these were scripted and you can figure out pretty well after these few years which ones are scripted and which ones are not. After that, we have Venom by Eminem. And honestly, this video, music video makes me so happy because it makes me feel validated because I see Revival getting smashed. And then I'm thinking, what because of the multiple debates I've had with Eminem fans, because believe it or not, in India, most of your rap fans are Eminem fans. It's me going and them trying to justify revival, and then this video comes out, and I'm immediately like, yo, the artist himself has said this is horrible. What are you defending at this point? Next is Bad Blood by Taylor Swift, which I, I don't care for the cameos, I don't care for Kendrick. But at least visually, it's at least pretty good. And then after that, we have Hot Shower by Chance the Rapper. I'm not talking about this one. This is horrible. And this should have been shot as soon as it was, you know, shot. You see, now, now is when the pain begins. We start with Hit That by The Offspring. And this is literally Murdoch. This is literally Murdoch from The Gorillas. There's literally no other resemblance. Now we have Right Now by Korn. Right now? More like end me right now because this music video is one of the worst things I've ever seen. After that, we have Girls Like You by Maroon 5. This music video is just very, hey, I'm friends with this one, you know. But again, it's not as bad as some of the things we're about to see, so I'll forgive it. Next is the Tootsie Slide. I, I now understand what we mean by bad Drake music videos. After that, we have The French Amara uh, by Juliet. And again, add this to the Oxymiron IOU, because I have no idea why this is hated so much. I tried to find something, anything on this music video. But unlike the Oxymiron one, it's because I don't think she's even been that established. So I honestly have no idea why this is so hated. If there are any Brazilians in the comments section, Please just, I need some sort of context here, man. Next is It's Everyday Bro, 0 out of 10. You, you don't need to know the other reason. Next we have Me by Taylor Swift. She says a line in the song, uh, spelling is fun. So 
Here's a word to spell A W F U L. You know what that means? Awful. After that, we have come together by the Beatles. Uh, Ringo commissioned this and he can't tell me otherwise. It looked exactly like something he would put out. And then we have Just Lose It by Eminem. Just proves why everything Eminem made in the 2000s will never age well, has never aged well, and has never been good to start with. Next, we have Playground by Daxback. Zero out of ten. What the hell did I just watch? It looks like a Cocomelon music video and it isn't even a kid's song. Like, why? Just why? Why is there a fox? Why is there a playground? Why is there anything? Why is there humanity? Why is there society in general at this point? And then after that, we have You Need to Calm Down by Taylor Swift. My, my sister is the biggest Taylor Swift fan. And you know this is bad when she says this is one of her least favorite music videos of all time. Next, we have White Boy by Tom McDonald. And what do you think I'm gonna give it? Heck yeah, I'm gonna give it a 0 out of 10. That's the coldest take to ever be written. And after that, we have Bad Habits by Ed Sheeran. Oh, what do you think I'm gonna give this one? I'm going to give it a 0 out of 10, chat. Yes, thank you. After that, we have I'm With Her by Latigra. Hillary Clinton propaganda. Oh, pop culture. What are you gonna give this one? Oh, I'm giving it a 0 out of 10 because I am the coldest opinionated person on the internet. Thank you very much. I am literally talking to a wall at this point. It, this has got me to that point that I'm literally just talking to myself in this sarcastic voice because honestly, these music videos are killing me at this point. Next is Are You Lost in the World Like Me by Moby. And yeah, 0 out of 10. 0 out of 10, like, half of the problems in this music video aren't even phone related. And there are some really weird misogynistic things just thrown in there. Oh yeah, here's a sprinkle on your shit Sunday. Oh yeah, let's put in some more misogyny with all of that really bad phone commentary on animation that looks out of place in the 1930s. Uh, and then after that, we have Interzone. Joy Vision. Uh, it took me a while to struggle through that, man, because this might be the worst example of using nostalgia in a music video. What does DC vs. Marvel have to do with one of the best Joy Division songs? Like, genuinely, it's infuriating at this point why they're bringing classic songs and putting lackluster, unrelated themes to it. It's just to fit a algorithm that's not even there in the first place like joy division did not need more of an algorithm it already has new order plus the people who've been listening to joy division then are still listening now and those who have been listening then are now passing it to the now it's not going to ever be a mainstream band i don't really get why they keep on doing this we have now entered the top 10 Lord help me. After this, we have Dance Monkey by uh, oh, the Tones and I. And yeah, this is 0 out of 10. Because of course it is. Have you seen this music video? There's like 16 grandpas running around. Like, it's a fate sale for the weakest ever cookie product. After this, we have Yummy by Justin Bieber, which is somehow the best music video in this entire run. That just shows how shocking some of the content I had to watch over the past few days has been. Next, we have Absurd by Guns N' Roses. This is one of the worst songs they've ever released, and this is by far the worst music video they've ever released. Honestly, I saw... Sweet Child of Mine actually being the top 100 for a bit. I originally thought of this video back in December and at that point it was in the top 100. And then I saw this and I'm like, oh god, compared to the Sweet Child of Mine, it's a masterpiece. I don't know what you're talking about. After that we have Life Goes On by Oliver Tree. This is one of the most annoying music videos I've ever seen. Like, a music video has never made me want to punch a man more than I've ever had watching this music video. After that, 
we have Earth, my little dicky, which might be the most infamous 0 out of 10. In fact, I think it's got so many 0 out of 10s that a few people have decided to give it once just to throw it a bit of meat. You know, just here, take it, you, you like it. And then after that, we have Swish Swish, which I'm a basketball fan. Right? I made a basketball reference earlier in this muse in this entire music video ranking. And this video single-handedly make me hate basketball. After that, we have Happy Ending by Hobson. Shockingly racist, first things first. Uh, whoever told him he could put this music video out in itself, and the song in itself, uh, should really have been fired by Hobson. In fact, I'm pretty sure he has, if I'm right or wrong. I don't know. I don't keep up with Hobson. Who does? And then we get number one. Number one all time is a music video that got deleted off YouTube because of the hate it received. Of course, I'm talking about the one man, the Minecraft man, Dream, Mask. It's animated like a horrible Pixar movie. It's got the storyline of a horrible Pixar movie. Uh, it's got the emotions of a horrible Pixar movie. But honestly, this is the best music out of the best music video out of the entire top five, which is saying something because this is horrible. God, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. I'm done We're talking about these bad music videos, man. There's been so much utter shit I've had to go through for this music video ranking. And you know what? I was going to rank it, you know, I was going to do the full 100 as a ranking. But then I was like, no, I'm just going to show the 0 out of 10s because I counted a exact quarter of the music videos on this list were a 0 out of 10. Do you know how utterly trash you have to be? To have 25 0 out of 10s. This is more 0 out of 10s or less than 1 ratings I've given on my entire rating music history. This includes my old account as well, which is lost to the depths of time. And yeah, this is bad. Uh, if I had to rank the best music video, I'd give it to Knife Talk uh, or any one of the Drake videos, to be honest. I, I liked a few of those, except for the Tootsie Slide. I hate the Tootsie slide. But here's the graphic of all the 0 out of 10s in this video. God, I I'm gonna give myself some salvation. Um, in the next few videos, I, I don't have it on the cards right now, but you better believe I'm gonna make a ranking the best 100 music videos because I actually have gone through that list as well. And yeah, I've given some 10 out of 10s to a few of those music videos. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun, that best list. Because God knows this wasn't fun. I, I've called the God's name so much. He might as well be ending this music video ranking. But anyways, that's the end of the music video ranking. That's the end of my suffering as well. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have a nice sleep after this. I'm going to have a, a nice day tomorrow. Just so that I can compensate for how horrible horrible some of this content was. So until the next video guys, peace.